Namaskar, hello, how are you? I am Jayashree Sethi. I have got one story for you. Are you ready? If you are ready, you will clap once. But if you are super ready and excited, you will clap twice. I believe you all are super ready. So let's roll. Once there was a little lamb. <laughs> who was going to meet her grandmother. On her way, she met a wolf. The wolf saw the lamb and wanted to catch her. But the little lamb wanted to save her life. So she said, please don't eat me now. Let me go. Let me first go to my grandmother's place and grow big. The wolf said, okay, you may go. The lamb told everything about the wolf to her grandmother. The grandmother was smart. She got an idea and put the lamb into a dholak and rolled it back to her house. The dholak rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled very fast and the wolf, poor wolf, started running behind it. The wolf could not catch the lamb. And she reached home safely. That was a fun story. Now you tell me, why the dholak rolled? Hmm? I tell you, it is the shape and the surface that decides if the object would roll or slide. I give you another example. Have you ever played a carom board? When I was young, I used to play carom board a lot. Now you see your screen. Carom board is a square shaped board that has got four corners. There are some goatees, meaning pieces, and a striker. When you strike a goatee, how does it reach the corner? Does it roll or does it slide? Remember, go back in your memory, when you played carom board with your friends, how did the goatee or the piece reached the corner. There are four corners. How did it reach the corner? Did it roll or did it slide? Or you can play this game and check for yourself. Another example for you. There's a picture, right? This is picture of a park. You see some children playing, you see a slide and many objects. Now you have to tell me what objects in the picture would roll and what objects would slide. And how would you do that? You have to write R, letter R for rolling objects and letter S for sliding objects. Check, I think there's a slide. That is definitely a surface on which children will slide. Then there is uh, a box. Will it slide or will it roll? Hmm? So this is a fun activity that you all have to do. Now look around. From your surroundings, collect some objects and see if they roll or they slide. Hmm? You could be at home, you could be in your classroom or in a park. Collect some items and check if they roll or they slide. So for your ease, we have shown a table on the screen. So on one side of the table, you would be seeing some objects. And against each object, think and write if it would slide or it would roll or it would do the both. So there may be some items or some objects that will do both roll and slide. And you can also discuss with your friends why does this happen? Or there's a teacher to help you out. For me, it's time to say bye-bye. I hope you had a great time. I had a fun time. Till I meet again, take very good care of yourselves. Namaskar.